Apeville! What's going on all you apesters out in Apeville? I am of course the apester himself and today we're going to be playing some Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom once again. And yes, today we're probably going to be uh, over here on uh, downtown Bikini Bottom. But before we do that, I keep on forgetting uh, in the last two videos to come to Mr. Krabs and get the shiny objects and of course Patrick Socks. So we're going to do that real quickly right so, now. Do you want to trade <clears throat> shiny objects for a golden spatula? So, bear with me, um, I just finished eating literally just now, I rushed eating, uh, my girlfriend went to a concert, so that gives me some time to actually, um, make a video. So, before I go to downtown Bikini Bottom, I really, 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 really want to unlock the second part of the map, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. I'm going to do that because, oh, oh god. Oh, my, my game just froze for a second. I'm, I didn't know that did. Okay. So, I'm going to go to Patrick. Get the sock. There we go. Get the socks, rather. There's Patrick. There we go. So, there we go. So, now, uh, we have 15, which is, ironically, enough to go over here. And I, you maybe ask yourself, why are you going ahead? Well, if I go here, it actually gives me the bubble bowl. Which means I can go back to Jellyfish Fields and I can get the other sock that I needed. And I'm going to try with the Bubble Bowl to get the other sock as well. Um, I'm going to try the best I can. If not, then it is what it is. But I want to unlock the Bubble Bowl as soon as possible. So here we go. <clears throat> First, we got to go through this boss battle. Ugh, I keep clearing my throat, man, because, um... Because I just finished eating a bomb-ass Portuguese steak. <clears throat> if you have never had Portuguese steak before, before, you gotta have it. It is delicious. Nice Portuguese steak. And then uh, you get some fries on the side with a, with a fried egg, and you get to dip the egg, or get dip the, the fry... And stuff like that, and the fries and the egg and whatnot. Oh, it's so good. I know it sounds crazy, but you gotta do it. If you know, you know. If you don't know, God damn it! I, I forgot how to do this. Wait, am I already uh, hurting her? Oh, uh, that's yeah. This damn fish. Ooh. Um, I I don't remember exactly how to do this. Uh, how do I, I, I don't remember, yeah, I think that's how you do it, like that, and then you get to pick it up, I think, or maybe you're Pat, okay, so you get to pick it up now because you're Patrick, <clears throat> Patrick wants to play. Patrick wants to play! I wanna play! Okay, uh, Patrick, my friend, uh, oh god, uh, is this the, yeah. Uh, sling! Alright, um, no, get away from me. Uh, boom! No, oh, I got it! I got it! I got it! Okay, so what you have to do is basically throw it in there, just like that, and there you go. Uh, and you gotta do it two more times, I believe, and then you get the other three times. But this is a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, jump over that bad boy. <clears throat> so she's basically gonna sit down, and then you can do this. You can pick up the head. Uh, he said SpongeBob. It, you mean Patrick, don't you? Yeah, whatever you say, uh, fish dude. Whatever you say. Um, Sandy is relatively easy. Uh, if I remember correctly. God, get away from that. That could have been bad. Oh, I thought, I thought it didn't. Okay, hang on a minute. Get, get away from me. Get away from me, Sandy. There you go. We got it. And now the last part of the level. Here we go. Alright, so I gotta use what, bo bo bash? What did, what, did, what did he say I gotta use? I, I don't even remember. Sling! Ow! You little piece of 
garbage. Stop! Boom! Do I... Wait a minute. Oh, oh, okay. You gotta use the... There you go. Got it. Okay. Okay, I understand now. I under... I totally understand now. I totally understand. Okay. Oh, uh, we gotta double jump. Oh, no, what the hell? I, I... I... Oh, maybe I didn't time it right. Maybe I didn't time it right. And boom. You do that. And then there you go. All right. One more time. We need to hit her one more time. Dropped an elbow drop. No. Get away from me, man. I, I, I don't remember how to do this. Okay, there you go. I did it. I did it. Okay, I, I literally had to put a lot of focus into that. God, get away from here. Uh, boom. And Sandy's done. <clears throat> Finally. That took a lot longer than I wanted to. Took up like a third of the video. Wow. Thank you. It all means so much. I, I, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Yeah, whatever you say. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? Oh, boy. I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Of course you haven't. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You could just walk there, you know that, right? And a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Well, there you go. So we learned the bubble move, which this is what it is right there. We are not going to proceed any further. We are going to go this way. Uh, that took a lot longer than I wanted to, but I'm actually going to save the game real quick. I forgot to do that before I started this video because I wanted to save it just in case something happens. Um... But we'll just save over here. It's all right. Save over that is what it is. Um, there we go. Save successful. Let's just go back and make sure it went through. Yep. Okay. Good. 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 There you go. Oops. Sorry, Patrick. I didn't mean to bubble bowl you. Uh, yeah. So anyway, we are going to load back up into Jellyfish Fields and load up to that sock that I have to get to uh, where you have to use the bubble bowl. So I'll be right back. Alright, so you basically want to go to Jellyfish Fields, and you want to load into this one right here. You want to load into this level, or you can load into this one, actually, and then go back. But we're going to load into this one, and it takes you basically to Gary. Hello, Gary. Um, so yeah, you basically just want to come up here real quick. Um, or, like I said, you can uh, start off where Mermaid Man was, and then go back. But either way, it'll take you, but you can see right there, that's where you gotta go. Um, so we're gonna go straight over to it, and I guess we can test out our new power moves. Oh, nope, that didn't work for that guy. Uh, let's get some underwear, there we go. So here, you basically just gotta play some bowling, and you just wanna hit those pins. Uh, my bowling skills are not that good. Let's just go ahead and hit, th why is it, like, going at an angle? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Maybe I gotta hit it harder. Oh, okay, there you go. So you hit it harder. And there you go. You should get a sock. Yep, there you go. So there's one sock, and then there should be one more, and I'm going to attempt to get that one sock. You're gonna need the other move where you, um, you, uh, the guitar, not the guitar one, that's the movie game, um, the other one where you do the, uh, uh, rocket thingy, my bobber thing. That's what you actually need for this one. But I'm again, I'm going to attempt it uh, without it. So let's see how this goes. All right. Well, I'm loaded in here, and basically, you want to come down here, and you want to go to that pressure plate right there where that guy is. So let's just fall down here, and this pain in the ass is just gonna keep hitting me. Let's just hit him with the stupid tartar sauce. There you go. 
So you actually, again, you need the bubble cruise, but I'm going to attempt to do this without it. I might get lucky. Um, uh, yeah, I guess I'm not getting that lucky. I wonder if I hit it harder. Oh, I got one. Okay. You think I can do it? Do you guys think I can do it? Hang on. Let me see if I can sit here for a while and do this. Ooh, I almost had that guy. Come on. Get it, get him, get him. Oh my god, he's right there. I just gotta get him. Come on. Oh, don't tell me I don't have enough power. Come on, dude. If someone could just stand right here to get this last one, I could literally do it without the stupid flight thingy, my bobber thing. Or maybe put, like, somehow get, like, a thing over here. As Patrick, maybe? Ooh, on top of the- Oh, maybe. You know what? I might attempt it. Alright, well, I got Patrick here, and there you go. Boom! Now, all I gotta do is try to jump and hit it, maybe, as Patrick? There you go, got it! I got it! Ha ha! Ha ha! Suckers! Ha ha ha! Now I just gotta switch over to Spongebob. And I'm gonna collect it with Spongebob because I'm gonna tiptoe on top of that guy and hopefully be able to climb that, I think. Uh, if not, I'll just go around and get it. But, bro, that I literally just outsmarted the damn game. I can't believe it. Uh, let's see if we can jump on top of this guy and quickly jump. No, okay, uh, looks like we're gonna have to go up and get it. So, I guess this whole time, all I had to do was come over here as Patrick, and then I could have just hit them all myself. But, uh, here we go. We got it. Um, even though we're not supposed to do it this way, but we got it. Now, Jellyfish Fields is 100% completed. So, now we move on to the next stage, which is Bikini Bo Downtown Bikini Bottom. So, I'll see you guys when I load into it. Teach you how to oh, well, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, he's just gonna teach me how to how to do it. Um, yeah, I'm not coming over here yet, but I was just curious to know how many spatulas I need to get over to this level over here. Oh dear. Yeah, uh, 40. Yeah, I need a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to learn the cruise bubble. Oh, the that's the name of it, the cruise bubble. I wanted to learn it as soon as possible, but uh, we're gonna have to wait for a while. Until then, though. Um, yeah, so we're not going to touch anything over here yet. Nothing. I want to completely finish everything on that side first, and then I'll make my way over here. So f I know it's going to probably bother everybody like crazy, like mad, but, um, like I said, this is a 100% game completion game, and I, and I like doing it level by level. That's the way I like to do it. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's load in to downtown Bikini Bottom. Downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying Downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate. All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate. We have to get how everything get, to safety. How do, you, how do you get vacuum from evacuate? That that's. That's not... Spongebob, go back to school, man. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because My tummy the rumbled. robots have taken all the steering wheels. That's nice. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? Oh my god. No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff. I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. A who? How about a driver's license instead? Look how close the letters nice were. Nice try. All right, here we are, downtown Bikini Bottom. You guys are probably like, wow, it's about time you're, you're in downtown Bikini Bottom. I know, I wanted to finish the jellyfish fields uh level i wanted to get it out of the way but we basically have to collect these steering wheels we have 11 to collect uh again i like to go around and destroy everything and collect everything in sight uh but yeah so this thing's gonna be shooting some kitchen sinks for some reason and basically what we have to do is aim like right about here i would say 
Uh, let's get closer so the thing can detect us. Yep, let's see if it hits it. And not even close. Uh, let's see if it detects me again. And that should do it right there. Yep, there's one. And you do want to avoid it, by the way. Hit the buttons. Make sure it hits this one. Oh, look at that. First try. Did not mean it for it to be first try. But uh, we can go this way. Make sure it goes here. Blows that up. Oh, close enough. Uh, again, hit the button. Get away from the sink. Don't, don't, don't hurt yourself now. All right. Now one more should do it. That should do it right there. There you go. Now just be careful. Hit the button right there. And boom. There you go. And you get a golden spatula for that. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know that. The more you know, right? So let's blow these guys to smithereens. Uh, let's run away. Get our points. A lot of this time is going to be spent just collecting and all that good stuff. I know I like to collect things. Uh, but there you go. There's another spatula. There might be a steering wheel back here. I'm not 100% sure. Either a steering wheel or a sock. Yeah, it's a sock. All right. Well, let's take this guy out. And there you go. Get some underwear. There's your sock. Uh, I just want to destroy these. Because my OCD, because I have to destroy everything in sight. Uh, let's continue that way through the level. Alright, here we go. Just hit that button. And you gotta do this quick. There you go. And here we go. A new enemy. I forget the names of these things, but these things are evil. That poor guy. Damn. Meep. What's Gary doing up there? Why does Gary always follow me? Alright, well... Uh, anyhow... Uh, what, why did I do that for? Uh, so... We gotta take those guys out. That guy is terrified. I mean... Holy crap. Hang on. And this is where we unlock Sandy, by the way. But, dude, that guy... Is, look at that guy. I will save you. There you go, sir. I just saved your life, man. Um, I got your back, dude. I got your back. Alright, do avoid this hot sauce, by the way, when you go to do this level. I'm um, just saying, because the hot sauce really does burn. Uh, so, we can destroy this, and this, and that without uh, stinging myself. But you can see when you touch that, you get hurt. But, yeah, uh, we're going to have to stop... Stop using the freaking stupid ball. I don't want to use that. All right. Let's go ahead and go around here and collect. Oh, another cog wheels. Let's go ahead and take that. Let's blow that guy up so we can open that fence up. There you go. And there's another guy right here, too, you can blow up so you can open up that fence as well. And there you go. Blow him up. Oh, there's more shiny objects everywhere. Let's keep on collecting. All right. So now the next part, we basically have to use this bubble ball thing. And we got to push that button, and then we got to go as quickly as possible through the gate, or else the gate is going to close. So you just want to hit the button, and you are time for this. I'm looking around to make sure I didn't forget anything, but there you go. Once you complete it, you are able to go through and back again. So yeah, there you go. Uh, blow this guy up again. That's going to open up that gate for us. We don't really have to, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, there's another sink here somewhere oh that guy right there we can destroy that uh let's climb up here because i think there might be a sock up here somewhere i'm not 100 percent sure uh i guess not maybe not uh oh I'm back on the other side how did i end up over wait a minute how did i end up over here doesn't it just bother you when you want to blow something up and you can't like i want to blow this guy up so bad there's a bus stop, which means you get to be Sandy, and let me press this button real quick, and I think, yeah, it brings that car down. You basically gotta use that, but first, I'm gonna go ahead and collect the shiny objects that are down there. Alright, this part could be tricky. Uh, yeah, that part could be pretty damn tricky. I can literally just jump up here, come on. Why can't I just jump? Wee! There you go. Oh, I got it. Okay, I got really scared. I was going to go too much. All right, there we go. So we made it. We're going to blow up these guys. I should not be this close to these guys. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god, I didn't know that guy was blowing up. I did not know that guy was blowing up. So basically it opens it up. You can come back over here. It basically just runs full circle after a little while. But oh, we're hitting back here. Oh god. Let's knock that guy to an oblivion. Uh, let's get some underwear. And back here, there's some shiny objects. A robot. Sorry, dude. I, I didn't know he was hitting you. Um, you can come over here. Just keep on collecting stuff. I'm sorry. I know I'm dragging this along because I want to collect things. Uh, let's shut that door for no apparent reason. This door is locked from the inside. Oh, Who God. Do such a thing? Yeah, you gotta open it from the top, I think. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, but I believe there's a side quest here, which I actually think it's actually supposed to be for that. I believe it's supposed to be for that. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I need to be Sandy for this part. Yeah, I gotta be Sandy for that part. We're gonna have to get come back to that one. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm I'm pretty close to getting Sandy. Sandy's just around the corner over there. Um, let me see if I can unlock her real quick. So many different directions to go in. You can go to the Sea Needle, which is over there, which I gotta pay shiny objects for, which I got plenty of. Uh, probably not gonna go over there just yet. Um. First, I want to... I want to get that cogwheel because it's bothering me. Stop spawning enemies. All right. Uh, I want to get up there. I want that cogwheel. Uh, I wonder if I could jump on this rock and then jump up here. I, I, I That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, looks like you can't do that. Can I just... Wait a minute. What if I just do this? What if I just do that? Can I just like... Oh, oh there you go. I got it. That's one way to do it. Alright, let's go to the next part here. Whee! Right through the hole! Yay! There you go. Let's knock this freaking guy to an oblivion because he's driving me crazy. Hi, Gary. Oh, hi, Gary. I didn't mean to talk to you. Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean... Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Which we're not doing today. Uh -huh. We're probably going to go to the seed needle. I could really use that. What do you mean get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Oh, that gap looks big. Yeah. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh. You need Sandy. Robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible. Okay, okay. Oops, I didn't mean to skip that. Yeah, we will get Sandy. Thanks, thanks, Gary. Uh, so we're gonna quickly climb up here and get that. Blow that up to smithereens. Looks like we're not doing the sea needle today. I guess not. Uh, we're gonna... I want to finish this level to get to the end of it at the very least. But, oh, they're doing... Uh, don't mind the background, guys. They're doing uh, some yard work outside. But before I go get Sandy, I am just gonna go ahead and collect more collectibles here. All right, let's go and get Sandy. Here we go. First time playing a Sandy. I absolutely love playing a Sandy. She is my favorite character probably out of the three in this game. Uh, because you get to lasso, as you can see. So we're basically climbing up these buildings. And we got to get out over there. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. At the very least. I, I at least want to get up there. So, what about that other jump that I had to make that I needed Sandy for? Hang on, let's see what it is. I think... I don't think it's anything in that important. I'm pretty sure it's just to get that. Yeah, I can do it with Sandy real quick. I don't see why not. Uh, let's see if we can get Sandy. Uh, let's see if this thing can go up. Collect that shiny object, because you actually get a lot of points for that. There you go. Um, yeah, so we shall continue. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We have to open this up first. Uh, you need Sandy to get in here again. Uh, but yeah. There you go, blow that into smithereens. Didn't mean to come over here. Uh, yeah, let me get back up to the roof. And I am really sorry, all the noise outside, they're mowing the freaking lawn when I'm making a video. Alright, well, finally we're back. I... 
had to wait like maybe a good 10 minutes for the stupid uh, landscapers to go away because they were making a lot of noise in the background with the freaking leaf blowers. But anyway, I think they finally stopped. Uh, we are going to continue onward with this playthrough. Go ahead and hit a checkpoint. Let's hit these boxes. And this basically tell teaches you about the, the rope, which I already know. Uh, trying to teach an old dog new tricks, I guess. But, uh, nah. Uh, alright, so we can take this guy out. Let's go here. Uh, again, I love Sandy. She is my absolute favorite amongst the three characters that you get to play as. Uh, I cannot think of a better person to play as than Sandy Cheeks. Um, but yeah. We're gonna, again, just go through the course here as we go along. Pretty easy, straightforward. Uh, yeah, and then, oh, there you go. We got a, another box here, which takes us to the bottom. Go around there. Uh, not that difficult. There you go, and we get our spatula from coming up here. I am not actually going up there just yet. I am first actually going to go to the sea needle. Don't ask me why I'm going to the sea needle first. I don't know. Whatever. I, I'm just going to do the sea needle anyway, and then I'll continue on to the next part of the level. But this is part of the first level, technically, so we're going to do it anyway. Here I am. Man, Mattress Firm has a lot of good mattresses, man. I'm about to go check it out tomorrow uh, with my girlfriend. They have a 4th of July sale, and it is so freaking sick. All right, Mr. Krabs. All right, so I'm assuming he wants SpongeBob. So let's go and get SpongeBob. And we are, of course, going to go oh, talk to Mr. Krabs. Someone's broken the sea needle. That's horrible. You wouldn't say. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the Nico messaged me. He he sent me some videos of him playing the guitar. It's pretty sick, actually. He played "Sweet Child of Mine," and then the other one, I I I recognized it, but it actually was his YouTube video uh, intro. If I'm not mistaken. Because uh, they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh. No, but they said your mom was ugly. Ooh, your mama jokes now. Ugly. All right. All right, Mr. Krabs, break the my cell. You got a deal. Yeah, well, you lying fat ass. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to swear there. Uh, I'm trying to keep this for children. Um, yeah, for children. Uh, anywho, basically, you bungee on these bad boys, and you have to destroy all the boxes. This could be very, very annoying, um, so I may do it off camera, I'm not 100% sure if I struggle, especially if I struggle with it, because I am not good at these to save my damn life, um, yeah, not good at all. They keep moving! Stop moving! God damn it, I'm trying to get to these 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 barnacle heads over here and and i can't touch them because they're ta oh man this game's gonna be so aggravating oh my god okay i got one okay i got one hang on hang on let's go down gently gently oh i got it. oh perfect hit look at that all right so let's get this one i hold please get bro i was so freaking close how did i not get that i was so close got it oh god there's one more guy there's one more guy come on please do it did I get him? I think I got him. Let me get that other shiny object. It's going to bother me if I don't. Uh, let's see if I can get it. Uh, there you go. I got it. Alright, so I completed one of them. And there are three more to go. 
Here we go. We open up another one. This is the north end over here. Let's knock that guy out. And look at that. We got a button we can push. There you go. It takes us to the main entrance here. But we basically end up opening all these doors. But let's go ahead and destroy these. Oh, much easier with a uh, explosive guy, which is really good. Uh, get really close to him uh, without getting too close. There, there you go. He blew up, and I th think that's all of them. I Do I have to collect all the shiny objects? Is it really that necessary? Or do I have to destroy all the guys? I'm going to collect all of it just in case. All right, well, I got all of them on this one. And there are two more to go, I believe. So now we got to go through this little parkour course. Uh, this guy's going to probably be in my way, but that's all right. So we got this one, and he literally almost knocked me out. Uh, let's knock this guy into oblivion. Collect the other. Oop, didn't mean to do that. There you go. And then that last door, I think, is almost impossible to get. I'm not sure, but we're going to go ahead and complete this one as well. I can't get that guy all the way on the bottom. I'm trying really hard to get that guy. How am I supposed to hit that? Bro, that is literally impossible. All right, let's 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 go ahead and do the best I can. Come on! How are you not hitting that, bro? Come on! Maybe you gotta like... Oh, God, that's literally as low as I can go. I don't understand how I can't go any lower than that. Bro, come on! Get out of the way! Ow! That stupid guy got in my way. How am I supposed to take that out? Is that even possible? Whee! God, that shit's impossible, bro. I can't take it out. Bye. What the hell? God damn it! Come on! That guy's gonna blow up. Alright, so we got that guy. And then we can... Oh, come on. Come on, bro. Almost got it. God, he's so close. Okay, that is so possible. I literally went right underneath him. I got- I just gotta stretch out, uh, at the right time- Oh, I almost had it! I almost had it! Okay, it is so possible. Okay, thank god. At least I know it's possible. At least I know it's possible. So, this is just literally gonna aggravate me. I think this might be the last one. I'm 100% sure. There might be another one. I- I really don't know. I don't think there is, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy- Yes, I got it! I got it! I got it! So, the other guy should drop down to his death. And, yep, we got it. Alright, we finished this. Alright. Now, we can go to Mr. Krabs, I think, and get the spatula, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Mr. Krabs, please tell me you have the spatula Good for me. Oh, thank God. Spatula, like I promised. Thank God. Thank you, Mr. Krabs. Thank you. Don't ever uh, give me something like that ever again. Now, we're going to switch over to Sandy, because Sandy is actually going to be going... Uh, through one of these doors, there is another door I haven't opened yet, and it is this way. You may be asking yourself, how do you get over there? Well, I think there's a way to get there. I don't remember exactly how. Um, I'm just gonna have to figure this one out as I... Oh, oh, you need the cruise bubble. I'm gonna have to come back for this one. Alright, so I'm definitely going to have to come back for this one because I don't have the cruise bubble. So for those of you who don't know, uh, do you guys see that right there? That button right there? That's actually a button. And we have to hit that button and it sets off a platform. But I need the cruise bubble for that. So I am most certainly going to have to come back for that one later on. But I'm going to at least try maybe as sandy to like fly to it but you can see right there the button is right there you have to hit it again you need the cruise bubble and for that i need at least 40 spatulas so i can unlock the last part of the level so we are unfortunately gonna unfortunately gonna have to put this off to the side for now until i have the cruise bubble to get that um, yeah, right here. Come back with the cruise bubble. Yeah, so we're gonna have to come back for that one. But until then, uh, what am I ha at the time? Well, I can probably put a little bit more up. Uh, so I think we should go over to the rooftops now. Alright, I actually forgot that there was a cogwheel up here. And a sock, too. I forgot about that. So, good thing I came back for this. So, there's a cogwheel right here. And you basically want to go up there as well. So to get up there, I believe you have to swing on one of those bad boys. So let me make my way up there real quick. 
let's go through the box, take a shortcut. Uh, basically, you want to swing this way, I believe. And then swing this way, and it'll be up here. There you go. There's Patrick's sock. I will do the best I can to get uh, another spatula from Patrick's socks once I am done here. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and load into the rooftops like I, like I said I was going to. Hey, Larry. What's shaking? Hello, Larry. Sandy. Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That fair antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. With the spatula, of course. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with <laughs> the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. But if Larry's getting bad TV reception, then why why would Sandy need a, a bad antenna? Uh, yeah, I never understood that. All right, so I'm looking at the time here. I might be able to squeeze it. I don't know. Oh, man, you know what? I will squeeze in one little thing here, and then I'm going to end off the video, I think. It might be a little shorter than I'm used to, but uh, there's something back here. I'm going to do it real quick. So let's go ahead and switch to SpongeBob, and there's this button here. And you just want to hit this button. There's going to be a trampoline-looking thing here. And you basically want to climb up here. Uh, here we go, and there should be, I believe, a sock up here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there's a sock. We're going to collect it, and there you go. So, we're gonna go ahead and trade a, 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 ten socks, I should say, for a spatula. So, I will see you guys back once I am over to Patrick. Wow, well, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home! Here's your... I don't Yay, we got another spatula. So now that brings us to a grand total of 20 spatulas. I figured I have a little bit more time in this video. Screw it. You know what? We are going... We're not touching any of the buildings, but we are going to go on top of that building. You know what? Screw it. I don't care. First of all, we're going to hit that fountain and get ourselves a sock. As you can see, we get a sock from hitting that fountain. A lot of people don't know that. And then you do this, and then you bubble bowl, hit that button, and you basically have to get up here as fast as possible. There's a piece of golden underwear here. Go ahead and collect that as quick as you can. There's another spatula up there. You're going to have to get that after, but... Uh, here we go. There's a block challenge right here, which should be relatively simple. Um, so you get up here, and then you climb up here, and then there you go. You get a spatula from the top of the Mermelier, or the top of the retirement home. Uh, I figured I would just do that real quick. Why not? I had a little bit of time left, but I promise you I'm not going into any of these levels at all, regardless. Oh, Mr. Krabs, I didn't know you were here. looking a bit light, boy. You need 4,500? Yeah, well, I'm not even close to that. But you can see I have 21 spatulas. We need 40 to get in here. So which means we need about 19 more to get in there. Yay, my math is nice. Um, we got 30 to go in there. We need 25 to go in there. Just shy of what we need. I am not going in, in the tree dome just yet. Uh, because we are going to be saving that for um, the next time I get the chance to do it. So that is actually it for this video. That is going to wrap it up for this video. I am leaving it off right here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, uh, my Facebook page uh, will be in the link in the, in the description below. That is where I post the latest YouTube videos as well as other stuff as well. So that way you don't miss out on a single video that I ever put up. Uh, be, again, be sure to leave a like down below. And again, I cannot stress this enough. Subscribe if you're new. 
I cannot tell you. I literally have like 99% of the people that view these videos are not subscribed to the channel. Please go ahead and show me some support. I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to me. Uh, that would be really, really, really thoughtful of you if you could just do that. Uh, I could really use the subscribers. I could really use the viewership on my Facebook page as well. Go ahead and like up the Facebook page as well. Again, I have it's the same situation here. A lot of people or a decent amount of people are viewing my Facebook page, but they're not liking the page. Please do go follow that page. Uh, you won't miss out on a single one of my videos. Uh, I know lately I've been doing a lot of SpongeBob and GTA Vice City, but SpongeBob SpongeBob seems to be the successor here out of the two, which is a shock to me. Uh, but hey, it beats me. You guys want to see SpongeBob? You guys are getting SpongeBob no matter what. Uh, I am not going to stop playing this game until I 100% complete it. As you can see, today we 100% completed Jellyfish Fields. And uh, we did as much as we could over here. Uh, I don't know what this one is. I think that's Sandy's Tree Dome. Not 100% sure. Uh, but anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Tell your friends about me, obviously. Share the video. Share my YouTube channel with your friends and your family and all that good stuff. And guys, the apester has left the building.